Hello everybody in the CNC Router Tips group. Uh, it's Bill Griggs again. Um, just a quick update of what was going on uh, with the milling machine. Last night I was uh, installing uh, power draw bar um, onto the machine and uh, today we got it going. Um, just needed to hook up the uh, air connection when I went to, to sleep and uh, try it out and make sure the electrical wiring was going good. But um, if you take a peek um, at the uh, spindle, you can see I, I mounted the pendant, which has a, uh, a release and a lock function. Uh, and it goes with this air cylinder. And, you know, everything was labeled ahead of time. So, like it says top there and bottom there. So, you knew where to plug everything in. But uh, what happens is this stack of washers is, is cupped. And each, you know, each set is um, uh, opposing each other. So when they're put under pressure, they collapse a little and give you a little spring force. So this cylinder drops down, pushes down, and compresses those springs, and that releases uh, the part. Now um, I'm going to ask for a little assistance from my uh, my friend John, and we're going to demonstrate uh, how this how this works. So essentially uh, what I do a little higher, there we go, is I'll press the release button and that should re release it. And when I do, you'll see this uh, come down. So here it goes. And now I have the tool out and I can change tools, it releases. Pretty cool. If there was something that you needed to do with two hands, let's see if we can get this right in one try. Huh? Uh, I would push and hold the button and then just tap the lock button. And now it stays open and I can put it back in, hit lock, and it releases it. And, you know, pretty cool. Okay. So I'm going to release it again. Okay, and then change tools pretty quick. In fact, um, it may be faster by hand than it is with the auto tool changer by um, in some respects but it sure isn't uh, um, more convenient because with an auto tool changer and multiple tools you're able to walk away from the machine and do something else in the shop so anyway thanks John for, mm -hmm. for showing that um, one of the things that we had to do was install this electric solenoid and there's a, uh, a board inside also, it came with this um, cable chain, which takes the air hoses inside and um, a few other things. So, you know, it required wiring um, stuff down through there, down through the column of the machine, and then up into the electrical box, and then doing a little inserting and things. But, uh, you know, overall, it wasn't, wasn't really uh, too bad. So... Hey Dave and Brian, how are, how are you guys doing? Um, we're making progress and um, John and I are about to tackle putting on the uh, carousel for the uh, automatic tool changer and that's um, probably what we're going to occupy the rest of the evening doing, getting that set up and adjusted. Uh, now that we've got uh, the ATC, we're almost ready to make chips uh, with the exception that we haven't put on the enclosure yet. So, um, it's been an exciting time. I'm really enjoying this and um, I hope you're enjoying it and you're not getting bored with, you know, watching this, but uh, it is taking longer than I expected, but everything takes longer when you're filming video at the same time and, and trying to uh, document what you're doing. So, I hope this helps somebody. If anybody ever decides to go get one of these things, or whatever at least you know they have some ideas some of the work that goes into it um, again I'll be posting some of this stuff up on my YouTube channel and um, you know you should be able to watch you know more detailed versions there so that's pretty much it I uh, just wanted to say uh, 
that we are making progress and we're keeping plugging at this. So, um, you know, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. That would be really cool. Or, uh, you know, leave a comment um, below. Um, and we'll see. So I'll, take, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Um, and thank you for watching this.